welcome friends to another session on gems of geometry and uh, as discussed in the previous session we are now going to prove that uh, the nine point circle exists right so in the previous session we saw what a nine point circle is and in this session we are going to prove it that it exists and all the nine points what all nine point nine points guys so the nine points are the three feet of the three altitudes of any triangle so let's say in this case m l and n the midpoints of the three sides that is b e and f and the midpoint of the segments from the three vertices to the orthocenter namely uh, g i and j right so what are the three uh, nine points i'm just highlighting or i'm writing here so first is feet of the three altitude so three altitude feet are m n and uh, l these are the feet of feet of altitudes altitudes and clearly h is the orthocenter h is the orthocenter correct in this case now uh, what else the other nine six points remaining are def def are the vertices of the medial triangle so def are the midpoints mid points of ab bc and ca correct and i have i g and j these are the midpoints of the segments from the three vertices to the orthocenter that means i g j are the midpoints of um h b h b h a and h c i am writing midpoint m p okay so this is the thing and now we have to prove that all these points which all m n l d e f i g j all lie in the same circle which is called the nine point circle okay the diagram looks a little intimidating but then we'll try to simplify it as much as possible now and we will be using the midpoint theorem a lot so if you see uh let's you know try to highlight one particular triangle so a rectangle rather and we'll see show you also that why it is a rectangle so i am highlighting this one okay now in this case now let's understand uh what is happening here so clearly fd is parallel to ac is it why midpoint theorem midpoint theorem right f and d are midpoints ac is the base similarly if you see gj gj is also parallel to ac why again midpoint theorem midpoint theorem why because g is the midpoint of this g here is the midpoint of ha and j here is the midpoint of hc right so gj will be parallel to hc okay okay now that means acha similarly similarly same logic dj is parallel to dj is parallel to hb dj is parallel to hb midpoint theorem and gf is parallel to gf is parallel to hb midpoint theorem therefore dj is parallel to hb or rather gf dj is parallel to gf hence we can say gf dj is a parallelogram parallelogram right opposite sides being parallel so parallelogram now if you see uh gf gf was parallel to hb and hb if you see is perpendicular to right hb or hm is perpendicular to ac isn't it if you see hb this one this hb here let me just highlight it hb 
is HM and HM is perpendicular to AC, isn't it? And and AC is AC is AC is parallel to GJ. We just proved. Therefore, what do I what do we mean? What do we understand from here? So GF is perpendicular to GJ, right? Therefore, angle F G J is equal to 90 degrees. And hence, therefore, G F D J is a rectangle. Any angle of a parallelogram is 90, that means it's a rectangle. G F D J is a rectangle. That means what can I infer? If FJ consider the diagonal for for diagonal FJ. Okay, for diagonal FJ, D and G are points lying on a circle, lying on a circle with FJ as diameter, isn't it? So if, if you consider FJ to be the, let's say this is FJ. So if you see this point and this point are 90 degrees, so hence they will lie on a circle passing through all these four points such that FJ is the diameter. I hope you understood this. Okay. Similarly, now let me just remove this. Similarly, now, if I, now let me write here. So, if you now see, um, so FJ is the raya and uh, uh, and d and g are the points on the circle right so four points these four points are definitely concyclic correct now now yes so if you now see let's similarly i can prove similarly i can prove f i j and e f i j and e is a rectangle is a rectangle fi parallel to al midpoint theorem ej parallel to al again midpoint theorem so hence ej is parallel to fi and similarly ij will be parallel to ne so parallelogram and again you can prove that there is a 90 degree so fij is a rectangle so hence f j as a dia if fj is a dia is a dia then i and e lie on the circle right that means f j i e are concyclic so what do we learn so if fj if you consider fj to be the dia then we just proved that points um what all d i e and g these are all on the same circle now the only two points left to be you know this thing is n n point n and l if you see now isn't it how do we do that okay so So, um, if you see rectangle, rectangle, uh, F I J E, F I J E, then, then I E and F J are the dia, both are the dia of what? Uh, circle with circle. Of the circle which circle which is passing through all these uh, you know which passes through passes through i f i f j i and e okay right so now similarly if again we can again prove similarly you can see i I D 
sorry, yeah. Yeah, I, D, and E, G. So, I, D, and I, D, E, G. E, G is a rectangle. Same thing. Same by same logic you can see. I, D, E, G is a rectangle. Also, guys, if you see, um, angle F, N, J is 90 degree. Why? Because this is 90 degree because CN is an altitude, right? So FNJ is 90 degrees. So hence you can see uh, if FJ is a dia of a circle, circle, then N will lie over that, over the circle. Right? Why are we saying all this? Because if you remember, guys, if there is a circle and there is a diameter, so any point on the circle or any angle subtended by the dia on the circle will be right angle. We have studied this in our basic geometry. Right? So all these are 90 degrees. So wherever you see 90 degrees with uh, one uh, dia, then all of them will be on the same circle. Right? So similarly, n is on the same circle and and similarly angle d um l g d l g is equal to 90 degrees 90 degrees so so if if a circle be drawn if a circle be drawn with g l as dia then D will be on it. D will be on it. Right? So we see that NN, uh, I'm sorry, L will be on it. L will be on it. Right? So N, L, L are uh, on this, you know. So if you see now, um, FJ, FJ and GL, FJ and GL where the uh i'm sorry uh, there's some some mistake here so if a circle be drawn with gd my bad gd as dia right gd as dia. please do a correction if a circle be drawn with gd as dia then l will be on it correct so now what are all these circles so gd was the diagonal of a circle or uh, rectangle fdjg in which fj is also the dia so hence dg is also the dia and there's another dia which is ie so all of these are dia right of the same circle which are having points f i d j e g on them only points left to be proven to be on circle are l n and m now we just proved that l and n are also in the same circle why is n on the same circle because n uh f n j right f n j is 90 degree f n j is 90 degree so if f j is a dia n will be on the circle similarly d l g is 90 degree isn't it why because a l is the perpendicular so d l g is 90 degree so if d g is the dia or g d is the dia then l will be on it right now d g and f j were the diagonals of same rectangle f d j g so hence fj and dg are the dia of the same circle right so hence l and n will also now lie on the same circle right now the only thing remaining is m by but by similar logic you can prove that similarly similarly m will lie on a circle on a circle with with ie as the dia ie as the dia now ie and fj were the diagonals of the same rectangle so ie and fj happens to be the dia of the same circle right so hence 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 m is concyclic with 
L and N. Hence, if we now see all the points, which all? D, E, F, D, E, F, then L, M, N, and, and I, G, J, or G, J, I, right? All are concyclic. So hence we could prove that we could we could prove that all these six points or nine points are concyclic. Okay. So again, just a quick recap. Uh, the there were three rectangles we proved because of midpoint theorem. So I will highlight them once again. Uh, so one is already highlighted. Another one is this rectangle we proved, and the other one was this one. Right. So these are the three rectangles which we proved. Okay. So all these points will be on the same uh, circle. We proved that, and and after that we also proved that N L M are also uh, lying on the same circle with I E or G D or F J as the dia. Correct. And hence all the three, all the nine points, sorry, are concyclic. In the next session, we'll also prove that uh, the radius is half of R.